Hey guys, welcome in, and that's right, I, I'm running a different deck, not the branded one, oh, I gave the branded a good few days, and I got the branded skill to work maybe twice, and those two videos that I showed you, one that I lost by a time up, and the other one where it just took me forever, versus the nets. It's it's a mission. I am going to be going back to that branded. So if you guys want to see more branded, let me know. But we are going up against the old style mighty deck, and I'm running my my new style mighty deck. So I think it'll be very interesting to see how they fare versus each other. So I'm going to probably start setting up a little bit more defensive. I'm not going to go super aggro on my opponent. Um, I'll go out with my Marsh Shatter first and just see how my opponent. He looks like he. Ooh, that's, that's not what I expected. Um, with the Coco and the Megan, I thought he was going to rush a little bit more. So I'm just going to set up a little bit and just see what, how my opponent wants to play. And he's playing defensive, which is a surprise. So, I'm just going to pop my Mighty Sphere so we're all ready to get some surrounds and get some mighty versus mighty action because I'm sure he's probably gonna take his on and pop his roundabout now as well um, it'll be interesting also to see if more people will run Krillia like like my opponent um, because I've got my Krillia as well which at one stage I had in my mighty deck so now we're pretty much mirroring each other so uh, I, I just wanted to do that so I can get my back row free so I can bring out, okay, or I can match my opponent. So there we go. I think even if he Mega Gengars and he comes down and he attacks, I've got a potential of taking him to my PC. That's why I matched him up with the, the old Mr. Drifty. Um, and Nebby, uh, Cosmog, has a decent chance to to go neutral with combustion or potentially get a nebby wish um, and with uh, Delphox same same so looking forward to go neutral or white on white I win purple on purple neutral or okay there we go that that is part of what I'm talking about uh, it's a shame um, they both have giant purples though which is nice and they're both two stars I definitely want to, can't wait to test out Fox as an Evo. <sighs> That's exciting. That is exciting. Um, but, since Cosmog cannot be surrounded, I am going to try and push up with him and just create a little bit of pressure if possible. And then, oh, Del Fox. There we go, popping off with that 140. I like it. Um, I'm just going to try and lure that Greninja down. Um, if he sits in front of me to attack me and mold his blue, then I may potentially be able to go Nebby's power, jump over Nebby's power and get the surround. But I don't want my Leo anywhere near that Krillia because I don't want to be confused and I don't want to um, let him get an easy Evo off with his purple. Whereas my hot air balloon over there, I've got a decent chance of hitting my purple and capturing him if he wants to attack that. So, we'll see what my opponent wants to do. If I get my 100 on his white, that means I'll get no status. There we go. One more white. No, okay. Well, my opponent got what he needed. So... What I'm going to look to do now is set up some mighty surrounds. If I can get my 100, that's okay. And because this is one interesting thing, um, Blade cancels the abilities of other Pokemon. And I think he's going to be super clutch um, now that so many mods have so many important abilities. Like, he can get away around teleporting around Leos when people will not maybe not have cover the goal because they don't think they need to but then surprise he can teleport and I think 
I, I'm, I'm maxing, I've got two blades, I've pulled two, way back when they first came out. And I've put one into the its highest damage, the Night Slash, and the other one I've put all into Teleport. So, maybe they will come in useful. Um, but, since I am now down on one, he's got all of his on the board, I need to be smart about my placements. And I need to make sure I can deal with my opponent. Um, so, what I'm going to try and do is make it so my opponent has to either see if he wants to take the bait and want to surround me with his cocoa or do I set up a surround. Oh, Mega Glade. Man, I want a Mega Glade. Mega Glade would be so nice. Purple. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and the thing with Mega Glade is he gets around like the whole uh, Marshadow buff because he's not going to, like, he can take one step away so he's not going to be next to them so I've actually got to like take this opportunity ah oh, perfect because what I can do is actually like attack him and that I've got to try and get into them and man that was that was the role I, I the only, my only role I needed or wanted and goodbye Dow Fox. So he might just be trying to cycle my mons now to get his mega back while he still has time. Um, and I'm going to try and keep him there as long as I can. So I feel like attacking with Leo but I'm not going to because if I attack and get knocked out he will have his mega back one, for one turn. Um, and I'd rather that not happen. I don't think he would be able to do anything with it but I'd still rather that not happen. I've got something in my eye. Oh. Feels weird. Anyway. So. A Sun Steel Strike will be very good for me. Um, like. I need to get my opponents. Some of my opponents mons in his PC. Uh, if I cannot do that. Then there's no real point of taking hostages. So. I need to try and open this up somehow. Um, so my options are, I've either got to just make some space and there we go. There we go. So that's one, I need to get one more down. Um, probably, oh combustion. Alright, alright, alright. White on white, perfect. Perfect, couldn't uh, ask for anything more than that. Um, and I get weight, which is a little bit disappointing, but this also opens up the board and Marshadow has an amazing matchup versus Coco. Uh, the reducing, the reducing damage is just amazing, especially against Coco. He's looking for that gold versus purple. Um, I don't want to let them out, but now there's moves Coco, I'm free to move up on this Gengar, even if he mega Gengars. If I got that takeaway, um, damage on damage also, I would have won. So it's a very, very good matchup for me. Um, melee, melee's man. The maxed melee, melee right there. So I'm just going to move straight over and attack now. I want to get myself in a position that... Uh, I want to get myself in a position that I can lock him down. Um, if I get a knockout. Oh man. All these dodges. That was a very, very lucky roll from my Cosmog right there. Very lucky. Not my set. Um, if, if I get a Nibby's Wish on his white, I will pull Leo next to me and I will take the Evolve. Ooh, because I would uh, surround with my shadow. I'll just straight surround it. Have my full Eva Lunala. Ah, oh, the takeaway. Yes. Um, that is exactly exactly what I want so I'll, I'll take a teleport as well and teleport's not bad um, what this is going to allow me to do is move next to his goal threaten the goal a little bit and also attack and get rid of his cocoa potentially perfect perfect so that now is going to be he's got to either use his mega Gengar or 
I can't surround him with Nevi. So he doesn't have to worry about that. But what I do want is get rid of this Gengar. Looking for damage on damage or my purple. Perfect. Perfect. Man, it's with my shadow, this hot air balloon is so. It's equivalent of doing a 150 as well as a 120. And I'll take that one. Whew, and I didn't even do any. <laughs> the only. The only way I took him on is by using the um, the big hot air balloon. I didn't even use my mighty. I could have with my shadow at one point, but mm, mm, I like it. I like this deck so far. I'll continue to run it, but that hot balloon man, he is pretty amazing. He is pretty amazing. I'll run it a little bit more and get back to you guys. So look forward to some more videos. We'll see you soon.